Hey, what's going on everybody? Hope you're doing well. My name is Evil Good Guy. I am a environment artist, texture artist, and senior level designer for the Operation Black Mesa and Guard Duty development team known as Tripmine Studios. So for those who are not aware, Operation Black Mesa and Guard Duty are respective from the ground up recreations of Half-Life Opposing Force and Half-Life Blue Shift. If you're not fully aware of what those games are, I provided links down in the description to help fill you in. Now that we have officially entered the new year of 2019, I thought it would be cool to look back at 2018 and just go over all of the official media that the team has released in chronological order. For the first half of 2018, we didn't show off anything publicly until the 5th of May when I posted a new update to my running dev blog where I share the prop design artwork that I create when I'm not busy working on level design. The first images were a modular display of laboratory countertops, drawers, and cabinets. These models were the first real working examples of props that utilize our tinting feature, which allows level designers to choose the color of a prop from within the level design software, rather than requiring an artist to create a unique texture map for a particular color. This allows level designers to choose colors on the fly. Combining that with the modularity of the props, this offers a lot of freedom for the level designer to implement lots of unique variety in the way they choose to design their environment. As is usual, after I'm finished with a large prop set such as this, I created a dev map, illustrating best use examples of the models. The next post was a month later in June. This time I decided to show off some maintenance hatches, which are fairly simple in design, but again, utilize the tinting feature to make them more accommodating to differing environments. Oh yeah, and I also showed off a plunger because, you know, it's a necessary tool when security guards like Otis are clogging up all the toilets. The first real major media release of 2018 was in July, when we released an article displaying quite a few new screenshots from the level design department, as well as some renders from our talented 3D artists, along with a video showcasing some early work on character animation, and another video showcasing some more early work on weapon animations.
For the next set of media, which was posted in August, we head back to my dev blog, where I show off a huge set of metal truss models which, you guessed it, are fully modular and tintable. For this set, I put together a rather detailed dev map to illustrate clearly to the level design team on how to properly use these models. I also displayed a set of common tints that designers should stick with in most scenarios for the sake of consistency. I also provided a render of two portable office dividers. And other than those props, I dove pretty deep into some other work that I had been doing which was a bit out of my realm of expertise, but served as a good learning experience. I ended up modifying, based on the team's decisions, the MP5 to better represent the weapon design from the original game. The weapon itself is still not real world factual, but is much closer to representing the style that we are aiming for. I also made some minor improvements to the grenade and the towel cannon. On August 25th, I released a rather extensive dev blog which details the common techniques that I use to give feedback to the level design team, as well as demonstrate the sometimes massive changes that can occur after I engage in a personal hands-on revamp of another level designer's map in order to bring it up to the game's standard level of quality. Here you can see an example from the blog of an area that I revamped. Here is the before image, and here is the after image. And here's another before and after. I'm not going to read the entire blog here because it's quite lengthy, but if you would like to give it a look, there is once again a link in the description. In October, we shared yet another YouTube video, this time being a short and sweet demonstration of the first set of rough animations for the M4. And just to clarify, the M4 will serve as an optional weapon replacement for the MP5 which can be toggled in the game's options menu. In the following month of November, we decided to carry on the new tradition of video updates by releasing a video demonstrating an additional sound system dedicated to improving weapons sound effects. A link to this full video is in the description below. During this time, I had also updated my personal dev blog once again, this time showing off some metal crates that make use of not only the tint feature, but also a new uniform scaling feature that allows level designers to rescale static props from within the level design software. I had also spent quite a bit of time creating some gas cylinders, which I worked with one of our coders, Chris in order to make a unique entity that can react when shot to do some pretty wacky stuff to spice up the gameplay a bit. To accompany the renders of the gas cylinders, I also put together a demonstration video which you can view in its entirety at a link in the description below. Once December rolled around and Christmas was quickly approaching, I gathered a couple renders to show off in my dev blog. This time I showed off some props that I designed for uses in offices, as well as a fully modular intensible ceiling mounted fire sprinkler system, which I provided an in-game screenshot demonstration of. To end off 2018 and celebrate the new year, we released a new media update in which we recapped some of the notable developments from the year. 
We also took this opportunity to show off some new models from our 3D artists, a new dev blog from our concept artist, and a new video showcasing the latest work our animator has put into weapon animations. Well guys, that wraps it up for all the publicly released media of 2018. Now, I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't try to sneak in a little bit of something from 2017 because there was a lot of cool stuff from the years prior to 2018, such as a huge guard duty level design media release which you should check out if you haven't already, not to mention some other interesting blogs such as my OF2A1 revamp blog where I show off my revamp of another level designer's work, as well as a couple blogs from one of our talented coders. All of which you can find on our official forums at tripmindstudios.com slash community. As always, links are in the description. I look forward to showing off more work to you guys in a more official capacity in the near future, as I'm sure the rest of the team does as well. Have a great 2019, everybody!